Whether you play an instrument or are interested in composing, it is rewarding and instructive to compose variations on your favorite tunes. In this tutorial, we'll get you started, and we'll be concerned primarily with melodic variation, aspects such as scale type, rhythm, and meter. We'll save harmonic variation for another occasion. Let's use the opening of America, in England, God Save the King, or Queen, as the case may be, as the basis for our variations. Here it is in its original form. Before you compose your first variation, be sure you've chosen a key that is suitable for your instrument. Why not begin with just some simple rhythmic alterations? Rather than introduce any new rhythmic patterns, we'll use those found in the original, but put them in different places. We can, of course, combine various variation techniques. Let's now try adding some ornaments to our first variation. Trills, grace notes, turns, and the like. We change now to a duple meter version of the tune, which naturally will result in rhythmic changes too. The mood is more subdued when we move to the parallel minor. Variety of tempo is important. So let's try a slower tempo here, and while we're at it, a different instrument. The switch here is from the soprano recorder to the tenor recorder, which has an appropriately somber tone. How about a change to a modal scale? We could move each pitch up by a third, but retain the same key signature, and in this way produce a variation in the Phrygian mode. If you are unfamiliar with modal scales, do investigate them, because they can add a lot of color and variety to your writing. Now and then, it's fun to substitute rests for pitches, and to let the mind fill in the blanks. We'll try now essentially the same variation, but with some subdivision of the beats using repetition, passing notes, and exchange notes. That is, notes derived from the same underlying harmony. Here now is division of the beat into four. In most instances, the first note of each group of four sixteenths is identical to that at the corresponding place in the tune. Now we fragment the tune with octave displacements.
In our next example, we introduce upper and lower auxiliary notes in a compound triple meter. We also indulge in some arpeggiation. Variations can become rather predictable and tedious if they are all of the same length, and if there is always a note for note, bar for bar correspondence between the variation and the original. So we may want to extend a phrase and or conjoin two or more variations. Here's an example. A number of composers have used America as the basis for variations. Those by Charles Ives, originally for organ, are particularly imaginative. Do have a listen to them as orchestrated by William Schumann, whose score was adapted for concert band by William Rhodes. Remember those story completion exercises in high school creative writing classes? Just as story completion can get a writer launched, for aspiring composers, variations can be a helpful bridge between pedantic harmony and counterpoint exercises and 100% original composition. Now here's something for you to try. Using any of the opening phrases on this video, complete variations on the entire 14-bar tune in the manner established at the outset of each. To close, here is America set in the Phrygian mode.